What's going on? Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another episode of the Mecca Media Morning Show. Do you see this? Do you see this? You got your back turned towards scoop. the camera and everything. My bad. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're wearing the same outfit. What's going on it's the next day? We're live, okay? We're live still at the scene. Don't oh, still me. at the scene, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. But what's going on, y'all? What's up? What's going on? Hey, it's another day. Uh, I'm wearing the same outfit too. I think we matching pretty much, but I'm not showing nobody me on a Tuesday. I think I messed up. On a Tuesday. I think I messed up. That's going on, man. What's the motivation of the day? What is the motivation? Oh, oh, you asking me? The motivation of the day is sometimes you have to get up, and get out to get something, and the hard part about getting up to get out to get something is the getting up part, getting right. motivated. You feel that? I feel it. Explain some of that. I mean, because that's always going to be the hardest part. It's kind of like when you go to go work out, the hardest part is getting yourself up to go work out. But then once you start working out, it's kind of like, I'm happy I did this. Oh, okay, okay. But it's always going to be the beginning that's going to be harder because you have to have the will in order to pursue it. Well, let's speak about the will in order to pursue it. Okay. Uh, this time last year, you was a little bit of a bigger mecca. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said him, but you put it all on the Facebook list. So here we go. Yeah. So you was motivated. What was the motivation to get you to get up, get out, and get something? I was just completely sad, dissatisfied with where I was in my life, and I was like, I just, I had to do something. And I was at a point where I felt like I would never be able to lose weight, I would never be able to do it, but then something just happened, and it's like, I had to be able to believe in myself, and I had to be able to discipline myself, because I can't achieve anything without discipline. What did you do? I started working out, and I started eating better. Would you, wait a minute, you eat better anyway. You eat just a whole bunch of bean soup, right? <laughs> Is it, am well, I'm stereotyping here? Technically, I wasn't really eating any carbs. I was eating more fats than carbs. It was the keto diet that I actually did. Okay. Um, and I lost about 60 pounds. You said the keto pounds. diet, like everybody know what that is. The keto diet is basically a high fat, low, uh, low carb diet with moderate protein. So I ate more like meats, like I ate more chicken. Even though I didn't follow it to a T, I kind of did my own thing. Put a little remix to it. Did my own thing, though. I did have beans here and there and some rice and stuff. But for the most part, I ate less carbs. But you can do it, too. Don't be discouraged. You can do it, okay? But thank you for the more motivation. I didn't know he was going to ask me that. Well, hey, I went there. <laughs> now on to our daily information. And like y'all know, we get it every day from the reporter newspaper. The tangible form today. The tangible from today. <laughs> and you can pick that up everywhere in Akron, right? That's right. Yep, your local store, bars, hairdo spots. <laughs> That's right. And today, Akron NAACP youth bring home the ACT. Oh, no, no, no. I'm tripping. Akron NAACP youth bring home the act so when? What is that? Akron, Ohio is bringing home two championship medals with a win in the National Association for the Advancement of Color People, Afro-American Cultural, Te Technological, and Scientific Olympics. Oh! AXO National Competition. Congratulations, oh. Akron's medal winners, Connor Harris and Chica Nicole. Yeah, her. Yeah, her. <laughs> so basically, um, let's wrap that up real quick. Uh, it's a uh, science, what is it again? It is... I don't even know, honestly. You just read it. I know. Read it again. Uh, it is championship medals with a win in the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, Afro-American Cultural Technology, Technological and Scientific Olympics. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. That's that's dope. So, so we're using our brain. smart stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we're using our brain to win this thing. Yes, that's what's up. You know, we're we coming along. We're coming along. But now on to the conscious thought of the day. What you got? What I got? You're what like, you what got? I got? Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you tell somebody um, when it comes to how to eat to live? Well, since we're going with that theme and everything, I'm going to throw something out here, and I want you to expound on it. Okay. One of the biggest things that we enjoy as African American, or I like to call ex-slaves here in the wilderness of North America, is cornbread. Guess what? We shouldn't be eating cornbread. That's right. Why don't you tell somebody why we shouldn't eat cornbread? Because corn... Bread comes from corn meal, which comes from corn. Now, we are taught in How to Eat to Live that you can eat corn as long as you eat it in its milk stage, which is on the cob. But once you disconnect it from its life source, basically, it's dead. It really doesn't hold no nutritional value, and it's for animals. We can't necessarily right, digest it. That's why it. when you eat corn and then you use the bathroom. I don't know what you're talking about. 
and then it come out whole instead of coming out. You what do you mean? 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 Are you telling me your corn come out whole? <laughs> so you pooping a whole cow? <laughs> Oh, you standing next to Poop Pond <laughs> talking about corn infested no. poop. Oh, this is hilarious. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He's trying to play me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come out whole. It don't come out chewed up like you ate it. So basically what you're saying is that's horse feed. Basically. It's horse feed. That's not made for us. They used to feed us that stuff in the purest form, cornmeal and slop stuff when you was a slave. Did you know that? Right. Stay away from that cornbread. Stay away from that cornbread. No matter how much butter and sugar and jiffy you put on that. We got farina bread. We got other types of bread that we can eat that taste. It's a goose right there. That tastes just like cornbread. That's way better for you. And it's not going to make, it's not going to turn to cement into your, in your stomach. Because that's what happens. Take us out of here. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of the Mecca Media Morning Show. Make sure you tune in tomorrow morning again. And until next time.